हेलो गाइस व्हाट आर यू डूइंग आई होप एवरीथिंग इज फाइन सो एज प्रॉमिस्ड नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रिडक्शन फैक्टर्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड इन वोल्टेज कनेक्शंस आई एम सॉरी दैट दिस फिफ्थ लेक्चर हैज बीन डिलेड बाय अ लॉन्ग टाइम एज आई वाज बिजी इन सम अदर एंगेजमेंट्स बट आई होप आफ्टर दिस एवरी अदर लेक्चर विल बी एट रेगुलर इंटरवल and please let me know that uh, if you would like to make me videos in english or you would prefer hindi or you would prefer bilingual language anything as you like and i i will try to make videos according to your needs okay so let's start reduction factors used in voltage connections okay so first we will discuss the types of reduction factors and then we will discuss then why that why reduction factors are needed okay so in voltage connections there are three reduction three reduction factors okay so what are those reduction factors rf now reduction factors are first one is reduction factors used for long joints long joints second one is reduction factor used for large grip and third one is reduction factor used for packing plate now i will discuss one by one all of these reduction factors so the first one is reduction factor for long joints r f okay it is also denoted as beta lj where lj stands for long joints okay so let's start okay now first of all we we have to distinguish between what is a simple joint and what is a long joint so let me draw a diagram okay the diagram is done now as you can see here we, here i have drawn a lap joint this is the cover plate okay and this is these are the two plates which are connected and so the direction of stress is in this direction it may be tensile or it may be compressive and for those who cannot understand what is lap joint what is hot joint please watch my previous videos so that you can understand this lecture now um, now what is the length of the joint length of the joint is the center to center distance between the last line of pole okay to between the last lines of bolt of a joint so this is the center this is the center of this last line and this will be the length of the joint okay this will be the length of joint so i think it's very clear and very easy nothing more to explain now the conditions where we will use conditions where you will use the reduction factor is that is if lj exceeds 15 times d okay now here d is the dia of the bolt d is dia of bolt so the condition is that if the length of the joint exceeds 15 times the dia of the bolt then we have to use a reduction factor called beta l j okay l j stands for long joint i am telling again and again and its value will be 1.075 minus l j by 200 d okay so here again d is the dia of the bolt and lj is the length of the joint lj is the length of the joint length of the of the joint nothing complicated here we have to just put the value of d and the length of the joint whatever it may be uh, the only condition here is that it has to exceed 15 times of d that is suppose the diameter of the bolt here is 20 mm and then turn the length which we have to exceed that the length of the joint should exceed 300 mm that is 20 into 15 okay so if the length of the joint this length of the joint exceeds 300 mm for instance if the dia of the bolt is 20 mm 
then we have to use a reduction factor here which will be beta lj and the value will be 1.075 minus lj by 200 into d we have to put just put the value of lj and d here so lj may be anything greater than 300 that is 250 or 400 or 450 anything that depends upon the problem okay so here we are done here now important points to note here is note here is that beta lj beta lj should never be greater than should be greater than or equal to 0.75 or it should be less than or equal to 1.0 okay that means if the beta lj value is coming less than 0.75 then we will use 0.75 as the value of beta lj and if it's exceeding b1 then we have to use 1 so beta lj is done here okay now another important note here is that beta lj beta lj will be equals to 1.0 for connection of for connection of web and flange web and flange of lead girder just remember this point or just 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 take a note of it uh, it's when we will discuss plate girder we will again come to it okay so tension in the equal thing okay now <coughs> we will discuss beta second is reduction factors for large grip second one is reduction factor for reduction factor for large it is denoted by beta L G. So let me again draw a diagram. Okay, so these are my main plates. These are my main plates. As you can see, these are connected by a uh, double cover butt joint. These are the cover plates. And these are the bolts okay so this is the bolt here which I am drawing by dotted line so here this length this gripping length simply this gripping length is known as grip length okay length of the grip or simply it is also denoted by LG now again what is the condition here that is LG should be greater than 5 times of D where D is the diameter bolt now what will be the formula for beta LG beta LG the formula is 8 times D by 3 times D plus LG simple as that nothing extra nothing less okay now what is D here D is the diameter bolt okay LG is the length of the tape and what is oh there is nothing more so beta lg done now we there is one more reduction factor which is which is reduction factor for packing plates so the third one is reduction factor reduction factor for packing beta pkg now what is packing plate packing plate then again i have to draw a diagram to show you that let us suppose that if there are two plates which we have to join okay there are two plates which we have to join and these two plates have different thickness okay this one having some thickness p1 and this one has some thickness p2 then now if we want to join these plates what we have to do we will add a cover plate here okay now when we will add a cover plate here you see there is a gap remaining here so to fulfill that gap 
we add the packing plate we add an extra plate which is known as packing plate so that it become fully packed now whatever the thickness of this packing plate is that is known as tpkg that is thickness of the packing plate now uh, the condition here for applying the reduction factor beta pkg is that the thickness of the packing plate should exceed 6 mm if it is below 6 mm then it's okay we don't have to apply any reduction factor but if it exceeds 6 mm then we have to apply a reduction factor known as beta that is reduction factor for packing plates now what is the value of beta pkg its value is 1 minus 0 0.0125 tpkg okay now where tpkg is the thickness of packing plate okay one thing I forgot to tell you that is in this previous condition that is beta lj one thing in beta sorry that is the reduction factor of large bit you have to note one thing that beta no beta lg beta large bit cannot be cannot be greater than beta lj it has to be less than beta lj and also beta lg cannot be greater than means 8d or sorry the length of the grip cannot be greater than 8 times of d okay length of the grip cannot be greater than 8d okay that means this grip length this grip length cannot be should not be greater than 8d remember this always that means the what will be the range that is the it will be greater than 5d but it has to be less than 8d it is if it's exceeding 8d then we have to increase the diameter of the bolt okay we cannot use the same dia bolt so this is one note here this is the second note here and we are done with the reduction factors chapter here that is what is reduction factor for bolted connections so let us see what's the ultimate formula which comes that is beta uh, that is the shear b n s b by gamma n b this is equals to what b d s b that is the design shear strength of the bolt which is equals to f u b by root of r t gamma n b into a n into n n into beta t beta l j beta l j into beta l g into the okay, angle of that is f u b by root of r t gamma n b into a n into n n into beta l j into beta l g into beta p k g obviously this factor should be applied when it is applicable that is when once again we revise that beta l j will be applicable when the length of the joint exceeds the 15 times of the value of 15 times multiplied by that the bolt beta l j that is large grip will be applied when the grip length exceeds 5 times of p and beta p k g will be applied applied where the thickness of the packing plate will increase that will be more than 6 mm okay so thank you very much for tolerating me for such a long time and <laughs> in the next lecture we will we will study the bearing strength of bones thank you very much